all of you let us learn the new lesson lesson number 18 the environment and us but before we go proceed with the lesson what do you mean by environment environment means what it means all the living and non-living things present in the environment in the surroundings so we have to study today in this lesson what is the relationship between the environment between the living things and the non-living things now before that you have to answer my questions so can you tell will water and food sources will grow or dwindle and why you know if the forests are cleared if the forests are cut down then the amount of rainfall will become less and the amount of food required will also become less will also dwindle that means what if there are no trees there will be no rain and if there is no rain then there will be no production of crops we will not get crops or food and this is how it will become less <clears throat> my next question is will the living things look for shelters elsewhere or they will stay on there and why of course if there are no forests the living things will not live in the forest but they will move on from that place so the living things will look for shelter elsewhere if the forest is cleared because forest is their home will the space occupied by the plants and animals increase or decrease and why of course if there are no forests then there will be no space which will be left for them to stay over there and if there is no space to stay over there then of course they will move from that place and the space occupied will become less it will become it will decrease so the space occupied by the plants and animals will decrease because the forest that is cleared will be used for other purpose next question is will the number of living things increase or decrease and why the number of living things will decrease because forest provides food shelter and water and if there is no forest then there will be no food no shelter and no water now what is deforestation you know when you are growing trees then you are growing those trees these trees grow in a particular amount in the forest so that is forestation and when you are cutting down those trees the cutting down of trees in the forest then it is known as deforestation and why there is deforestation because the people are cutting down the trees the population of the world is now close to 600 crores and this man is developing new technology to meet the needs of all these people and man is using up more and more land and water more and more water is used more and more land is used uh, these resources are used in plenty for this purpose and we need also need open space and for what we are need, need uh, this open space is required for building roads and railways for agriculture for housing and for industries so forests are being cut down for this for industry for building roads for roads and railways and forests are cut down to make place for them you can see a person over here who is cutting the trunk of a tree so slowly slowly if the forests are cut down then there will be no balance in the environment no oxygen will be provided by the trees now see in this picture you can see a low lying area you know what is a low lying area low lying area is where the water gets collected so here also the water gets collected now this is the marshy area now what is marshy area you know what is curd curd means dahi yogurt yogurt is how it is semi liquid so similarly here also when you are mixing mud and water together then it forms a marshy land marsh okay so what they are doing with this marshy land the water which is collected in this marshy land they are removing all the water then they are completely covering this land with sand and soil and they are filling it with sand and soil and reclaiming the land and then they are constructing the buildings on it so now see in this uh, uh, this uh, slide you can see that 
the environment provides shelter for different kinds of living things the different kinds of living things can be birds can be deer can be any insect so imagine if there is no forest if there is no forest then what will happen if there is no forest then here you can see that the trees will be cut down and if the trees are being cut down the nests which are there for the birds will also destroy there will be no home for birds now you can see in the second picture the deer the deer is sitting relaxed over here so when the deer is relaxed over here it's only in the forest imagine if there is no forest there will be no home for this deer and the honey bee also will make a honeycomb and the suitable environment is the forest area or we can say a beautiful environment so all the shelters are being provided to all these kinds of living things in the environment birds build their nest in the trees and imagine if there's no tree where the birds will go to build their nest so they will slowly die so all the animals like bear deer monkey elephant tiger all live in the forest all the need are met in the forest so if the forests are not there then it will totally reduce the biodiversity it will deplete the biodiversity will deplete now that's over but what do you mean by pollution we saw deforestation now let us see what is pollution when waste water is let out of the factory the water gets polluted waste water when it is mixed with a clean water entire water gets polluted and you can see uh, how the water has uh, been polluted and the same water when it is been absorbed into the soil it destroys the soil it makes the soil infertile and there will be no crops which will grow in the soil similarly when you are uh, spraying chemical fertilizers and pesticides then the chemical fertilizers and pesticides which are used for agriculture will also seep into the soil and the water and soil both will get polluted and if the water and soil is polluted it is very dangerous for the plants and animals their number will reduce and eventually they will die all together or they will become extinct there are some fuels which are used for cooking in homes like lpg in industries and factories like petrol diesel uh, natural gas kerosene but these fuels sometimes create pollution and when they are creating pollution they emit poisonous gases which increase the amount of carbon dioxide in the air and this carbon dioxide which is increased in the air these poisonous gases and fuels will lead to air pollution why because one side the trees are being cut down there is no oxygen and the other side there is an increase in carbon dioxide that means the air is is been damaged it been it's been polluted so i hope you understood the, these concepts thank you